Just the Cube, coming up next. Hi, YouTubers and WhatsAvers everywhere. It's Mark with GeorgeTune.com. I'm back in our video. Well, a lot of viewers have seen me use the Phoenix Shaving Cube 2.0 Pre-Shave Soap. And they've noted that it makes a pretty good lather all by itself. I just rub it on my face like a shave stick and then work it in with my hands and it makes a pretty good lather. And they suggested that I just do a shave with this pre-shave soap and nothing else. So this is the Cube 2.0 from Phoenix Shaving. It is made up of Formula CK6 ingredients and it also is mentholated. So we're going to use this and this is all we're going to shave with. And I'm also going to use the Phoenix Shaving Atomic Rocket Shaving Brush right here. So I'm going to put this in the sink and let that soak a little bit. Um, I'm going to use my Shuna Razor. This is made by Fatip, and it's very, very similar to a Fatip Grande. Same kind of configuration, absolutely beautifully chromed, all brass razor. The cap, the base plate, and the handle are all brass. The uh, handle is hollow, but it still has nice heft and good balance. My uh, razor blade of choice is going to be a Derby Extra. I haven't used these in quite some time, so I'm looking forward to using these again. This is definitely an old favorite. And uh, we're going to finish it off with a Shash Allen Block. And uh, for post-shave, uh, since it's summertime and I'm using the Phoenix Shave 2.0 Cube, uh, I'm going to use Future Fiction Aftershave Splash. And also for upstairs, some Future Fiction Star Jelly Balm. Uh, so that's it. Let's load up the razor here right now and get going with this shave. Here's my dirty blade. And I'm just going to open that up, set it aside. Let's open up my razor. Okay. Okay. Let's get this blade out. There we go. So let's just put the blade there. Get that base plate in place. And Okay. Blade balance and alignment is very, very nice. And the end tabs are very, very nearly enclosed on this razor head. So that's another really good quality of this razor. Okay, so hey, let's wet the face. Let's get to the shave. All right, here's the cube. I'm really going to rub that on. It also has activated charcoal in it. So you can see that it's a little darker here right now. Until I really get it going with the brush, it'll start to become a little grayer, a little more white. But that's the activated charcoal there. All right, let me just wipe my hands off a little bit. Let's get the, uh, the brush here. Okay, let's make a lather, see what we get. Menthol really kicking in. Not bad at all. How about that? I thought it was going to start out a little more wet. Uh, during that first little bit of swirling on the face, but it has quickly gone to the thicker side, and I'm going to need a little water here. Just going to dip the tips in just a little bit. <laughs> That's amazing. That's really nice. I'm surprised. I mean, after all, it is soap. All right, there we go. Wow. Nice load on the brush, too, as well. Let's uh, heat up my razor. Some hot, hot water. 
I can really feel the menthol kicking in too. That's really nice. Okay, a little swirl in the sink to bring it up to temperature. All right, here we go. 30 degrees, a light touch. Let the razor do all the work, gentlemen. Not bad at all. Not bad at all. I can really feel the action on this blade. These Derby Extras, uh, the Derby Extra Razor Blade is coated. And the razor, the Shuna razor, is on the milder side. So with the efficiency and the sharpness of the blade and the mildness of the razor, I'm getting a really good efficient shave here. And this soap is doing a rather good job. Not bad, not bad at all. All right, that's the first pass done. Let's rinse. Well, that first pass is on par with a lot of other shaves. I'm very, very surprised. Not bad at all. Let's uh, do a second pass here and see if we have enough soap. And we do. <laughs> Okay. Wow. <laughs> That's terrific. All right. We're going to go with pass number two, east to west, across the grate. No tugging, no pulling. This is really, a, this is a nice shave. I don't know how they did it with this razor. Even though it is a smooth handle, this little twisting right here, for some reason that gives a really, really nice grip. It really does. Just that little bit of a twist there gives you enough uh, grippiness on the handle. It really works well. I mean, it's a smooth handle with the exception of this little twist there, but that really does a nice job. I like, I like to make sure I'm getting my chin here when I'm doing these videos. Sometimes in talking, I miss that area. But it seems to be doing a good job this time around. All right. 
Second pass done, let's rinse. And one splash seems to do it, and you know, <laughs> I'm done. I can get the chin just a little bit, a little better, and it's not the fault of uh, the razor or the soap, it's just that I have to pay a little more attention to that while I'm doing these on camera video reviews. But you know, I mean, if I had to go to the office, I'd go to the office, but the point is also to see how much shaving soap we have left on this brush, see if we get a third pass. So here, you know what? Let me just add a little more water to my face. Okay, I should have done two splashes. Okay, that's enough water. Let's see if it brings out some more lather from the brush. Because this soap does like water, no doubt about it. Wow. That's terrific. That really is. All right, pass number three, we're gonna go uh, south to north against the green. Nice light pass. Nice, really nice, wow. I remember why I like these blades so much. This has really been a nice shave with the Derby Extra Blade in this Shuna razor. Okay, make sure I get the chin here. Yeah, this razor has a really nice, mild quality. I think any other razor is a little more uh, aggressive with uh, this blade. Uh, right there where I was just doing a little bit of finishing up there, uh, probably, eh, you know, you never know. You have the potential to nick yourself. But there's enough glide with this free shave soap. It really does, really did a nice job. Really, really terrific. I'm surprised that the menthol's really still kicking in. That's really really terrific. All right, uh, third pass done. Let's rinse. Okay, let's drain the sink and do my two final rinses. One warm, one cold. And then I'll show you how much shaving soap we have left in the brush. Here's my warm water rinse. Two splashes and the slickness comes off. That's kind of a nice quality. The slickness is there when the soap is there and you rinse it off, comes off quite easily. Here's my cold water rinse. This is the best part because of the menthol there. So this cold water will really enhance the menthol quality into this pre-shaped soap. Here's my cold water rinse. Oh! -ho! Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's, wow, that's a menthol rush right there. That's terrific. Clean, fresh towel waiting for me right here. All righty. That's nice. That was that was a nice shave. That was really nice. Here's my Shash Ellen block. Let's uh, 
Pass it under some cold water, see what kind of feedback we get here. All right, there we go. Not bad, not bad at all. I've got, well, for the most part, it's pretty smooth. I wanted to say I had some zings there, but not really. No, that was good. That was nice and smooth. Yes, that was, that was really, really nice. Yeah, now it, it feels like it might be, you know, I want to say, oh, there's a zing here, there. It's not. It's just, it's just, it's having a calming effect on my, on my skin. Uh, just pretty much after, same as after any other kind of shave. It just has that nice, smooth, calming effect. And uh, every once in a while, I get a micro zing or something like that. I didn't get any zings, no stinging, anything like that. Just a nice, nice, smooth, calming effect to the skin. Really nice. Let's just take this and set that in a dish. Well, like that and we'll set it there and let that um, air dry so it's ready to go tomorrow okay so here's the brush right here let's see how much how much lather we have here look at that <laughs> look at that huh wow that's fantastic but well, that is really look at the peaks on that look at that that's really nice and, there, and you can see there's plenty there if I want want to do another pass, touch up, that sort of thing. Let's, let's clean this brush here while that uh, shash is doing its thing. gentle ring here and now let me just shake it out a little bit here okay love this handle this handle is just it just feels so nice in the hand it really does and just do a little blotting and a little buffing here like that and ta -da! it's fantastic that's absolutely fantastic. Wow. Probably, uh, man, that's just, I mean, that's great. Look at that. It's probably, I would say, 90% dry. I could probably dry a little more, but uh, let's move on with the shave here. All right. Future Fiction After Shave Splashed. Love this scent. Love this scent. Love it. I mean, just a terrific, terrific summertime scent. Absolutely wonderful. Wow, that is great. Wow, what a nice shave. I mean, really, I'm surprised. I really am. A little star jelly for upstairs. Okay, about that much right there. That's all we need. Boy, that's terrific. A little bit of menthol in there, too. Great shave. I'm really surprised at, uh, at a pre-shave soap that has done such a great job by itself. Now, I think, um, I think it's set up to be a pre-shave soap, obviously. And uh, if you're looking for something to really help protect your skin uh, during your shave, boy, this is a really good choice. You can get it with menthol or without menthol, and it really does have, uh, offer you that extra uh, layer of protection and glide that uh, even some beginning wet shavers uh, uh, require. Uh, but the seasoned wet shavers will love something like this as well. I like this a lot. I use it with a lot of different soaps. But, you know, in a pinch, if this is the only thing you have, yeah, you could use it like that. Look, look at the great lather it made. Now, I think that, that 
There were some things that were lacking a little bit. I think some of the shave soaps from Phoenix Shaving have a little more moisturizers. Um, but really, it seemed to do a really nice job all by itself. Now, am I going to shave with this all by itself in the future? I don't think so. I'm going to use this solely what it's suited for is a pre-shave soap. It does a great job at that. But in a pinch, you know, in a, in a pinch, if I, you know, needed to travel or something like that, I could hack off part of this and throw it in my dop kit and use that, that sort of thing. It was a neat experiment. I think it's a terrific, terrific pre-shave soap. And as I say, in a pinch, you could use it as a shave soap. Although I don't think it's something I would want to use every single day because there are so many other great shaving soaps that uh, Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements offers, like uh, their High Jump 47, and uh, what else do I have here? Oh yeah, their Future Fiction. This kind of, this is terrific. That's a terrific soap there. And uh, Astro Traveler and their Club Guy and a lot of others that, uh, that I have that are just wonderful and you know specifically formulated for a shave. This is something that will give you a good slick base. Uh, but I think those other shave soaps give you those added ingredients, added moisturizers, uh, you know, give you that added oomph to really, really uh, enable you to uh, get a really, really good close shave, regardless of the aggressiveness of the razor. I would definitely get this as a pre-shave soap. If you haven't tried the Cube uh, 2.0 uh, as a pre-shave soap, definitely, definitely get it. And, you know, Run the experiment yourself. Use it as a pre-shave soap and also use it by itself and see what you think. But I do think that uh, this coupled with a shaving soap boy gives you a tremendous, tremendous shave. So uh, by itself, not bad. You know what? Uh, it was worth the experiment and it was a really nice shave. Uh, no nicks, no cuts, no irritation. Uh, you know what? It was a nice shave. It really was. I was very surprised. But uh, from here on out, I'm really going to use it as a pre-shave soap because that's where it really, really shines. That's its true strength. It adds that extra layer of glide and protection to the base of your shave so that when you add your lather on top of that, boy, then you get some really nice protection, some great glide, a lot of great moisturizers and other great skin ingredients from the Artisan Shave Soap that you might be using, whether it be Phoenix or somebody else. Uh, and that's what this does. It enhances that artisan shape. So, okay, so that's it. Thanks very much for tuning in. I really do appreciate it. Please share, please subscribe, please like. Hit that bell so it'll give you a yell the next time I upload a video. Comment below, let me know. Check out the executive shaving company. Use the code MARK5. Check out my blog, georgetune.com slash blog for my comic strip George, other cartoons and videos like this. I'm on Facebook. Check out my Facebook page for cartoons and videos like this. Check out phoenixshaving.com or phoenixartisanaccoutrements.com. Both addresses get you to the same great online store where you can get some great shaving gear, great shaving soap, Cube 2.0 pre-shave soap, some really, really good stuff up there. Uh, check out my Amazon product page, amazon.com slash shop slash Mark's Ready, where you'll find all the products I review on this channel, organized and categorized. You can find everything in a snap very easily. Thanks very much for tuning in again. I really do appreciate it. I'll see you again real soon.